let us discuss about the concept of periodic table so you can see the periodic table of elements over here very clearly periodic table is nothing but a table of chemical elements arranged in order of atomic number you can see here hydrogen has an atomic number of 1 lithium has an atomic number of 3 na which is nothing but sodium has an atomic number of 11 potassium having an atomic number of 19 so it goes on for everyone here we have a depiction for carbon specifically the atomic number of carbon is 6 you can see here whereas the mass number for carbon is 12 so if you see here these kind of chemical elements are arranged in terms of row specification so that the elements with similar atomic structure appear in the vertical columns let us move to some of the properties of metals metals are generally shiny malleable and hard metals are also considered to be the good conductors of electricity some of the common and well known examples for metals are gold you can see here silver iron uranium and zinc so these are considered to be some of the examples of metals let's move on to the concept of properties of non metals non metals do not conduct heat or electricity very well non metals are typically brittle and are not easily molded into shapes you can see these kind of polyatomic non metals are very difficult to make and mold into particular shapes the most common examples are considered to be hydrogen and carbon now let's discuss about some of the properties of metalloid so metalloids share some of the characteristics of both the metals and non metals so these kinds of metalloids are considered to be semi metals metals are metalloids are typically semiconductors which means that they both insulate and conduct electricity these semiconducting property makes the metalloids very useful as a computer chip material some examples of computer chip materials are silicon chip you can see the depiction of silicon chip here here in terms of periodic classification we have the classification of metalloids along with the comparison of metals and non metals so the green color representation is the non metals and you can see the metals over here with the color factor of pink and the metalloids over here now let's move on to the concept of analyzing the physical properties of metals with non metals the first and foremost is metals are solids except mercury non metals may be solids liquids or gases metals are hard except sodium and potassium 